Opencast Images is a book that's packed full of photos of British coal opencast sites in the period between 1986 and 1994. The photos are of generally good quality and they show the machines in use at that time. I'd like to say I counted 230 photos on the 144 pages of the book. That's what I'd like to say, but in fact I didn't count them. Those are the numbers provided by the publisher. The book is organised in sections, with each section covering a particular opencast mine, and there's a few pages on each. And one of the interesting things is to see the machines in the colours of the contractors who were carrying out the work at that time, because many of those contractors no longer exist. Each of the photos has got its own caption, which gives some background information to the photo, but this is not a detailed technical text about the machines or the mines. Many different machine types are covered, including walking drag lines, cable shovels, hydraulic excavators, dump trucks and dozers. And there's a selection of other machines too. Among the particular machines covered is the well-known Ace of Spades walking drag line. And in fact the book's got photos of a number of walking drag lines. As an example of one of the opencast mines, this is Wimpy Mining's Bleak House site. And there are photos of a DMAG H185 shovel and a Cat 16G grader. And there's also a Ruston Bucyrus 195B rope shovel. Thumbing through the book, there's a big variety of these old machines, and there's more than enough to keep anyone who's interested in them occupied. At the back of the book, there's a couple of bonus chapters, one of which covers various open day events at the mines, and there's also a short section which has specification sheets for a variety of the machines. Overall, this is a good quality book, and it's an interesting archive of old machines. For anyone interested in mining equipment, it's recommended. Music